Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series of Tanner. So in today's lecture, we are going to see how to make a NOR gate, NAND gate, all these gates we are going to cover. Alright, after that uh, we will be moving towards how to creating a symbol and creating a layout and everything. So here uh, we are going to cover some of the logic gates. Alright, so first of all I am going to create a new view. Okay, and I am going to uh, give the name that is logic gates. Alright, so here what I am going to do uh, is I am going to create the design using CMOS that is NMOS and PMOS. So first of all I am going to go to generate 250 NM devices and I am going to drag an NMOS. Okay, so first of all we are going to make uh, let's say we make a NOR gate, alright. So NOR gate that using CMOS. So that basically means uh, that our that our expression is y is equal to a plus b whole bar, alright. So since uh, there is an a plus b, that means uh, the the PMOS will be in series. And the NMOS will be in parallel. All right. So here, here, I have put two NMOS that is in parallel. Okay. And now I am going to uh, put a PMOS in series. So I am going to select for PMOS here. And here, I am going to put the PMOS in series. Okay, so our PMOS is the pull up network and NMOS is the pull down network. So I am going to connect it with a wire here and these are connected. Similarly, I am going to connect these. Okay, and here, okay, let's just flip it. Okay, to flip, uh, to horizontally flip anything, use H command, that is the H key. And but to flip vertically, use the V. All right. So I have used the H to flip horizontally. Similarly, I will add a wire over here as well. And now, okay, uh, this one is for output. So this is our output, and I'm going to select it like this that is the A input and the other one this is the B input alright All right. so I will just drag it till here yeah so this is for A input and B input now here what I am going to do is I am going to add the ground so I will just select instance and here is our ground. Alright. So from the port, I am going to add the input and the output port. So I am going to name it A and I will name this as B. Okay. And there is this output port. And let's name it out. Okay. And now what I need to do is I need to add the voltages alright voltages and the input source voltage like we add in the added in the case of inverter so let me just show you inverter for a bit you remember in the inverter in the input we added V bit to give the 0 or 1 value okay and in the VDC uh, in the drain voltage we added uh, this VDC alright so now what I am going to do is I am going to add okay first of all let me just move these ports a bit yeah so that we can have the space to add the bits yeah so let me just select it here right now uh, what we need to add is we need to add the sources so first of all search for v bit and create an instance Okay, uh, so just paste it here. Similarly, paste the other bit here. All right, and again uh, select ground. 
So here is our ground and select instance. So this is our instance for ground. Similarly, uh, here is RVDC that is yeah this will be in the sources so here is the VDC so I am going to create an instance I am going to rotate it here and negative terminal will be connected to ground so here is this ground so this is how we have made this NOR gate alright so now what I need to do is I need to add the print voltage that is for the plot. Okay, so I am going to add voltage print. So just search for voltage print here and just create instance. Okay, so I am going to rotate it. Yeah, one voltage print here and another here. All right and one I am going to add on the output that is two voltages voltage signals uh, for inputs and the other one for output so this is how our or an OR gate will look like okay so uh, now what we need to do is we need to set up the simulation so here I am going to set up the simulation make sure you have the library file in the general from the general folder uh, general tab and this is our library file make sure to add TT at the end alright so next thing is uh, here we are going to do transient or Fourier analysis so here let's say stop time will be 400 n and the maximum time step uh, let's say I put 10 n alright so this is the start uh, stop time and the step time so we will just press ok and now I am going to save the schematic to see if it is working fine or not. So now let us run the simulation to see if our schematic works fine or not. So here we have the graph, uh, okay, so let's separate the plots and let's see, okay, uh, so according to the truth table, when both the inputs are 1, for OR gate the output is 1 but for NOR it is 0, when both the inputs are 0, uh, it is 1, so uh, it seems that our circuit is working fine, okay, so you can see one thing that this uh, we bit uh, is basically having the same bit value so that's why it is uh, giving the same waveforms and output accordingly so we can only verify two cases from here that is when both the inputs are 0 or when both the inputs are 1 alright so now uh, let's say we need to uh, verify other inputs that is when 1 is 0 other is 1 uh, like that so for that what we need to do okay I will just close it so here in this V2 you can make a change uh, in the bit pattern of either v1 or v2 so here you can see this is the bit pattern so I am going to change it like this ok and now I am going to save it and now I am going to run it again now there will be different bit patterns so we will see in OR gate uh, when the inputs are different the output is 1 uh, but here output needs to be 0 so we will just see if our waveform is working fine or not So we have got our waveform, let's separate it. Okay, there is a lot of noise in this. Alright, let's see, it seems we have made some cross connection somewhere. Okay, that's why there are a lot of spikes. Okay, uh, we can see here, 
that this voltage print uh, have made a connection here okay so i will just rotate it like this yeah i guess uh, due to this there was the problem and this was our pattern so this is even 10 bit pattern and let's say this one is this is also a 10 bit pattern all right so uh, let us run again So let's hope uh, the waveform is fine this time. Okay, again there are a lot of spikes. All right. However, there is uh, due to some reason there is some noise coming here. But uh, you can see one thing that when the inputs are different, uh, the output is zero. All right. That is, it is behaving as an OR gate. So we will see why the outputs are, uh, why these spikes are coming. Okay, uh, there may be some cross connection in some wires or anything. That's why this noise is coming. All right. So anyway, uh, the motive of this video is clear. That is creating an OR gate. In the next video, we are going to see how we can create and simulate an AND gate. Then we are going to move towards the XOR and X NOR gate as well. All right. So this is all for this video. See you guys in the next video.